come from uh, telecenter field. Uh, you all know uh, telecenter is a small computer center in a rural village uh, where they provide ICT services to the social economic development of the community. So our paper, uh, which uh, we wrote, is on impact monitoring and evaluation for developing sustainable telecenter networks. Why sustainability? World over, uh, there are about 35,000 telecenters in Sri Lanka alone, 577, probably the uh, largest uh, network in uh, world, single network. How and why this uh, evaluation uh, matters? Because all these telecenters were uh, set up for some kinds of fashion because donors wanted it to uh, bridge digital divide, uh, world over they have faced a sustainability risk, critical sustainability risk. So in Sri Lanka, the government understood that and uh, assigned us a, an assignment uh, to improve these uh, 60 telecenters of poor province, probably the, uh, actually the largest uh, province in Sri Lanka, to understand its uh, nature, uh, it covers 16.44 uh, of population and 41.4 of uh, people qualified for all. That means 58% fail ordinary level the education uh, issues, transportation, communication, everything is challenged. And this area we call E3 area, and the poverty gap index of this area is 6.2, where Sri Lanka, uh, overall Sri Lanka is 3.1. Poverty gap ratio is the definition, the mean distance separating the population of the poverty line. Okay, uh, uh, you can see on the left corner, you have a telecenter, which is about two years old, and the poster on it is about three months old. The telecenter is closed when we went there. And you see a telecenter which is operational after the nine months project. It's not the same thing, but it's represented. Closed one is now open. So 16 MSR telecenters in UA have a uh, has a success story to tell. Uh, so this was initiated by uh, ICTA, uh, Signing Infusion, uh, a regional impact team, a four member team to uh, develop uh, capacity, train, tech support, do something, get them up, get running. This is what uh, we were given the uh, sort of goals. When we went to the field, we did not know what to do. We did not know the area of the river. Because though we live in the same country, we haven't traveled that much. So we, we had to visit every telecenter in evaluation. So we created a, a framework, uh, initial framework, actually the initial framework by now has changed because as we learned, we changed it, called E3. So we just first talked about it, E3, what is E3? I come from uh, web technologies, e-business and local language technologies. I wasn't an evaluator, I wasn't a, a M&E person. But uh, I had the fashion to do something to get these telecenters running. Because we believed 70% uh, of Sri Lankan uh, communi communities uh, live in rural communities. Uh, even in the urban, they are, uh, have a gap between other people and the world. So these telecenters are sort of a small miracle happening in small communities. 10, 20 children, uh, 100 uh, uh, users starting to use computers, internet, access to knowledge, it starts changing their lives. People are passing exams. How this happens? So we uh, devised a framework called E3, which says e-learning, e-business, and e-leadership. So uh, the framework uh, has uh, uh, some specialty. We set the framework on a cultural footing, local language. 
Afi minister nak kata kerja, guru nak tiap nak bahasa. I know you don't understand this. This is the language understood by my fellow village people because I am also coming from a rural community. So you have to talk to them in their own languages. If you write a report, you can't translate it. You have to adapt the report for their need. The way they